I'll be showing my four favorite features in the new updated Flipgrid camera. So let's get started. I'm here in the browser and I'm going to click record. Here's the countdown. Now the first one, go to the effects menu right here and choose frames. This is brand new and I'm going to turn on a frame. Breaking news, the Flipgrid camera is updated. I can choose lots of different frames. Some flowers, a sloth, underwater, and unicorn acres. Gotta love the unicorns. So lots of frames to add a little bit of fun to the video. And I'll turn this one off now. Now this next feature, I think students and teachers are gonna have a lot of fun with and it's super useful to explain what you're doing. So I go to effects and you see there's new board. So look at this, I've got graph paper. I can change the background. I can choose a rainbow color. I can choose a nice green background. But look at split screen, watch this. So, hey, whoa, I can choose wherever I want. And then I can solve the problem on one side and still be talking and explaining. So really, really powerful. I can even do something like this. I changed it to my OneNote cape. Now I'm ready to solve that problem. I'm gonna go back here and choose draw, and I'll click on a color, and now I can say two plus two equals four. And I can explain what I'm doing on the video while I'm using the board at the same time. Incredibly powerful with this split screen mode. What I'll do here is I'll turn off the board and I'll clear everything out. And I'm gonna show the next feature, which are filters. There are improved filters for the background. So a great one, rainbow. And there's some other nice filters in here that have been added. One of my favorites though is Lego mode. I click on Lego mode and I've been Lego-fied. You can see the purple going on, but this is really cool to be able to put on as a filter. I'll turn off the filter here. The last feature I'm going to show is the new screen record that is now built in and ready to go. It's an incredible screen recorder. So I go to the dot, dot, dot under options and I choose record screen. Now I get a little dialogue. It says start screen recording. You can see in the lower right, it's got my video showing, so I can narrate as I'm going. And I can choose my entire screen, an application window, or a Microsoft Edge tab. And I will choose the Educator Center, which is an Edge tab that's up. And I click Share. Now what you see is this is the Educator Center. I'm narrating, I'm explaining how wonderful it is, the Special Needs and Accessibility Resources page, which I really like. So when I'm done sharing my screen recording and narrating, I go up here and I click Stop. Now immediately, center, you can see it starts playing it back. Work. It's right here in the camera, so I can review my screen recording all the way through here. And maybe I want to add more video. So if I click in the lower left, add more to my screen record, I'm back in the camera. I can go back and do those same effects and choose things like my frames and my breaking news and all those fun things. And then just like we always could do in Flipgrid, I hit next when I'm done. The educator center, and I can I'm review the entire next. thing. So I'm not going to add any more. I'm done with my video. I hit next. Now it's selfie time, of course I can do effects and maybe I want to add one of my favorite frames, Unicorn Acres, and then I take the selfie, hey, and we're all done. I go and hit submit and just like normal, your video is ready to go. So those are my four new favorite Flipgrid features in the new camera. Check it out today. If you found this video useful and you want to keep up with the latest quick tip videos I'll be releasing in the near future, subscribe to my YouTube channel and just ring the bell for the notifications.